वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज ऑडियो कैसेट नंबर वन थर्टी फोर हेयर आर माई थाट्स एंड राइटिंग्स ऑन वेरियस टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू कृष्णमूर्ति एजुकेशन एंड आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग येस्टरडे माई फ्रेंड जेवियर रोड्रिक्स गेव अ वेरी गुड टॉक ऑन द वे ऑफ निगेशन in krishnamurti's teachings krishnamurti spoke about emptying the content of consciousness or memories adi shankaracharya to express his teachings in sanskrit shlokas called nir, nir, nirvan shatakam from the state of freedom shankaracharya says i am not the body not the senses not intellect not memories no ego etc i am the form of consciousness and bliss i am shiva my understanding is memories or content of consciousness are needed in daily relationship with people they cannot be emptied but in the state of wordless awareness this contents do not interfere that means one can look at a tree or a human being without knowledge or contents interfering but if someone asks what is the name of that tree or that person one can answer with the help of memories stored memories cannot be destroyed in a healthy human mind next article yesterday evening and at night there was heavy rain in rishi valley but today morning the sun is shining brightly the earth has become soft and muddy and trees are sparkling in sunlight when i came out from my room at 5:15 a.m. the sky was full of bright planets and stars every morning is beautiful and new if the body and mind are healthy and happy this happiness does not come from outside it is a byproduct of living with effortless awareness of the inner world which makes the outer world appear as bright beautiful new next article if you have a picture of krishnamurti as the greatest teacher and someone criticizes krishnamurti will you get hurt and turn your anger towards that critic <laughs> case teachings are to be lived in our daily life if we are really worthy of the teachings krishnamurti's followers don't mind criticizing some traditional guru but if krishnamurti is criticized their devotion comes out clearly and creates a feeling of hurt there is no authority in spiritual psychological philosophical domain one has to understand oneself in the mirror of relationship getting hurt is an indication that one carries images not seen clearly getting hurt could be an opportunity to look deeper within at the image maker for such looking one needs freedom to look next article it was a beautiful morning when i came out from my room at 5:15 am the sky was studded with many bright stars venus was exceptionally bright and sirius too orion constellation was bright too then the golden light of sunrise filled the eastern sky 
trees and birds were rejoicing in the new morning. In the school assembly, we sang a beautiful song describing a new morning. Bhayo Prabhat Disha Prachine Sajyo Anupam Saj. The earth rejoiced and there was fragrance in the air. Birds sang in sweet voices. The golden rays of the sun kissed flowers. It was a pleasure to talk with students of class 6B about my days as a student in an ordinary school, good teachers, importance of awareness, beauty of nature, discipline and happiness coming from within. Krishnamurti and looking clearly at our own mind, etc. Students were listening with attention, though it was the last period in the afternoon. The class teacher of 6B had invited me and he was present too. Generally, I talk with senior and middle school students, but I found talking with junior students more enjoyable. Next article. Teachers like Kabir express beautifully through metaphors, poems. Must listen to his poem, Bala Hua Meri Matki Phuti. It means, thank God my water pot broke. Now I do not need to go and get water. Matki Phuti means the brain exploded. Now there is no need to make any effort to understand. In Vedanta, there is a metaphor about a lion cub who felt that it was a goat only because it had never seen its true face. When someone took it to a lake and showed its true face or self, it understood. Truth is a pathless land is a metaphor. Truth is not a land. You are the world is a metaphor only. Actually, you are not the world. If you are the world, there is no duality and conflict comes to an end when there is no duality with the world. Next article. Human beings cannot live in isolation away from other human beings in a cave in the Himalayas. Life is relationship and understanding our inner world can happen in relationship only. We live in a family, work in an office or in an industry. We are related to society in many ways. Wherever we live, Problems are bound to arise with other human beings. Problems like comparison, competition, jealousy, fear, conflicts. Conflicts existed even between Gandhiji and his wife Kasturba and Krishnamurti and Raja Gopas. Challenges or problems exist for all human beings. How a human being meets these challenges depends on his ability to look clearly within his own mind. Confusion creates more confusion and clarity is required to look at the source of all problems. The source is thinking and the sense of self or ego arising from it. To look at the source clearly Something other than thinking is required. Krishnamurti called it choiceless awareness or intelligence. After reading a book of Krishnamurti, I became curious in looking at the source. I had no dialogues with other human beings for seven years, but changes started happening in my life, my body and brain. Most human beings need to discuss with other human beings to see clearly at the source. 
if this really happens this is a blessing many people listen to krishna murti had dialogues with him but they felt that they did not change i have attended hundreds of dialogues with many people in the last 43 years i attended one such dialogue today morning with a group of 12 teachers who discuss about the problems of comparison and competition conflict between what krishnamurti says and the problems we face with students and other teachers ultimately one needs to have the freedom to look at the source of all problems thinking and ego arising from thinking this can happen even in aloneness without verbal dialogues